What's up, guys? Welcome to another epic episode of J Philly Retro Toys. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today for another toy hunting adventure. Guys, this episode is going to be a continuation of my last episode. Uh, if you remember, last episode, Anthony, Stephen, and I went out to Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. We hit up that huge, massive thrift store, the two-story, just gigantic thrift store. We were there for over two hours and didn't even see like half of what they had there. Uh, so like the, sh the stuff I showed you guys in my last video was just a drop in the bucket. I, I didn't even see everything they had there. So we're definitely going to have to go back out to that place pretty soon. Uh, but if you have not watched that video yet, do yourself a favor, go back and watch that one first and then come back to this video because today's video is going to be episode number two in this, uh, you know, continuation of that adventure. Um, we went out to a bunch of other thrift stores afterward. We hit up, uh, several, um, Goodwills. So we're doing some chilling and Goodwilling in this episode. Uh, we hit up, um, one or two other thrift stores. We even went and got some pizza for lunch. So you guys will be able to see all that. Uh, not to mention in this episode, one of the scariest things that ever happened to me in my whole life. God's honest truth. You guys will be able to see that as well. Stay tuned. All right. Next stop, Freedom fr Freedom Thrift. Freedom Thrift. All right. All right. So I guess we're going to do like a uh, a little thrift tour of the area. Um sort of, you know, a little bit. A little bit of thrift in here and there. Um, anyway, plushies. <laughs> uh, not a whole lot there. Uh, we got a kid's table. Not a whole lot of toys so far. There's a whole nother room back there. So uh, I'll let you know if I find anything good. It smells like a hospital in here. All right, cool. We found the uh, toy section. Uh, look at this. There's a, a Chi Chi's Frisbee for 50 cents. That's kind of funny. What year, how old is that? Doesn't say. I don't know. I kind of, kind of want to get it. <laughs> Let's see. What else is there? Uh, there's another Frisbee. So the dino. Forever. The Red Ranger. Huh. Uh, like a Beyblades arena. What's up here? Anything? What the heck is that? It's like a shirt mask. That's kind of crazy. He's like trying to kick a soccer ball. Yeah. <laughs> Oh well, Transformers broken. I mean, uh, Power Rangers broken. Yeah, this Transformers broken. Also uh, broken. Also broken? Well, crap. Just broken what can I say? Something smells fishy around here. Really? <laughs> <laughs> the Gujitsu dude for two bucks. What is it? Oh, a Hot Wheels thing for the boys? They might like it. For your little cousins? Oh, I can't forget my hat over there. Uh, let's see. What else is over here? Anything? I don't think I finished looking up here, do I? Eh, nothing really up here. I don't think. That's interesting. All these bags. Be really cool if I could find the head of this guy. Oh, look, here's a little Batman guy. Looks like they got lots of uh, Wakanda Forever toys down here. 12 bucks. Not sure 
sure what that is. Alright guys, you guys know my fascination, my obsession with Sesame Street toys. This one I found is, you know, it's a baby toy, obviously. Well, they're all baby toys, but this one is in a little better condition. I might actually pick up this Cookie Monster train piece for two bucks. Who's that? Oh, uh, it looks like a uh, Daryl from Walking Dead. <laughs> There's a thing one. Anything else in there? There's a little Superman. Oh, dude. Oh, look at that. It goes with my uh, cereal collection. <laughs> A little Buzz Lightyear in there. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Anything over here? Some Fred. Some Scooby Doo. Look at this old Family Feud game. That's pretty cool. Huh. Um, and not a whole lot else as far as games and puzzles go. All right, guys. Some crazy finds that last one. Yeah. On to the next. On to the next. I'll show you guys everything I picked up at least when we uh, get back to my car. But for now, goodwill. Chilling and goodwilling at this crazy looking goodwill. Pretty cool. I, I tried. All right guys, so. Uh, it's been good knowing you. Like one of my worst fears ever is happening right now. We are trapped inside of an elevator. There uh, is two floors in this in this uh, Goodwill. The clothes and stuff is on the top floor. Um, all the toys and the electronics and everything is on the bottom floor. It's opening here. And we're trapped. It's not stuck there. Are you kidding me? It's stuck here. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> all right, hold up. Just wanted to interrupt here. You guys just saw what happened to me. Not just to me, but to Steven and Anthony. I thought I would jump in here and explain the situation a little bit better to you guys. So we went in this Goodwill. Um, it's either, I'm not sure, it, it looks like an airplane hangar. I'm not sure if it used to be an airplane hangar or an old church, possibly. Uh, either way, they actually have a first and second floor. And I knew that that was the case before we went there. What I didn't know was that they have an elevator there. Um, and, you know, you guys are not blind. You see that I'm a big dude. Stairs and I are not best friends. So whenever there's an elevator option, nine times out of 10, I take the elevator option. However, after this escapade, that probably will no longer be the case. Um, so anyway, I, I honestly didn't even know where the stairs were in this place. I was just looking around, happened to look over and see the elevator. So I'm like, hey, shoot, I'll jump in the elevator, go down to the second floor and uh, look around. Uh, Steven just happened to be right there beside me. He saw me getting in the elevator. He's like, what you doing, dad? I said, I'm getting in the elevator. So we all got in the elevator together. <sighs> Needless to say, apparently we didn't know that there was a weight limit in this elevator and the three of us exceeded the weight limit, which caused the doors to lock and we were not able to get out. Thus the panic ensued. Guys, I swear to God, I... It's one of my worst nightmares being trapped in an elevator like that. And if you guys saw in that clip just now, you can kind of see the fear and the panic in my face and in my eyes. I was not having a good time. Thankfully, thank God Stephen was there. I was so thankful he was there with me. 
because he kind of kept me calm. Um, we were in there for like 10 minutes trapped until finally uh, a worker was able to get the door open. So just wanted to jump in and interject to tell you how this happened, how we got stuck in this elevator. So keep watching. Guys, we made it out. We got stuck in the elevator. Thank God. We made it out though. Let's go. Uh... Man, I almost had like a, a nervous breakdown in there. Panic attack. My second video in a, war, in a row where I had to do some epic breathing. Seriously, I almost freaked out. I got this cool Star Wars water bottle. Darth Vader. It's kind of cool. Uh, we got a great pumpkin Charlie Brown water bottle. That's cool. Find anything? Not yet. Relieved to be out of that elevator? Yes. Uh, not a whole lot here as far as games and puzzles go. Um, Spider-Man puzzle. I don't know what this is. Alphabet and numbers. Yeah. <laughs> it's an old payday game. Blue tag is half off this week, so it'd be a dollar, two dollars. Um, yeah, not really seeing a whole lot here, but uh, got lots of plushes. Look at this. This is cool. If this was like an older vintage one, I would totally get this. My mom, when I was a kid, this was the only Care Bear that I owned. Was the Good Luck Bear? For two bucks. I don't know. Maybe I'll get him. Eh, on second thought, I'm going to pass on him. He's not vintage. If I had, like I said, if they had the vintage one, I would definitely pick him up. I'm going to pass. But look at this. Got some ramen noodles. Steven likes ramen noodles. I think he needs that. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else? Some squishmallows. Um, what's this? Is that Hey Arnold? Nick, 90s plush. Alright, just looking at the toys, I'm just, uh, not really seeing too much yet. What is this? Is this beads or something? Oh, look at that. A big old lobster. There's a lobster. <laughs> Captain America back there. It's a transformer, a little kid's transformer. Um, yeah, some MLPs. Some Barbie. Oh, look at that. He's cool. He's pretty cool. Guys, Anthony found me a cool Barney Rubble Flintstones plush. Definitely going to grab him. And not a whole lot here as far as uh, DVDs and Blu-rays go. Not much at all. This is like their whole section right here. Um, eh, oh, there's Cabin Fever. That's kind of a good movie, I think. There's The Grudge. There's Corpse Bride. Eh. I don't know. I'll look around a little bit more. They might have something good. All right, guys. So we uh, stopped at lunch. A place called Tony's Pizza. Pretty good stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> look at this. That's a, that's a good pizza right there. Oh, yeah. You know it's good when it does that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Here we are. Had another Goodwill, doing more chilling and Goodwilling. I have no idea what town this is, but uh, we're gonna go in another Goodwill. We're just following the Goodwills home like breadcrumbs. Yeah, we're following, the, yeah, exactly. Every Goodwill we see on the way home, <laughs> we're stopping. Oh wow, look at this. This model, Titanic. That's pretty cool. Um, 
lots. Look at them. Look at the puzzles and games at this Goodwill. Dang. Uh, code name. Marvel code names. I don't know. This is cool. Star Wars Pictopia. Travel game. Steven's found uh, Nerf guns already. Oh! This is interesting. This looks like a bag full of like bases. Some kind of a like Skylander bases or something like that. Look at that. That's weird. There's another bag full of them back here. Huh. It's kind of weird. Oh, here we go. A hot affair with your partner. Ooh la la. There's a Disney snow globe. <laughs> here it is. Ooh. Guys, look at this. Here's another bag of these. I have no idea what these are. Hopefully I'm not missing out on something something good. <laughs> but uh yeah, I'm not seeing a whole lot else here. Here's a cars with like little kids. I mean bags with little kids' cars and stuff in them. Uh, there's some kind of a is that the Buzz Lightyear jet? I think so. Maybe something like that. Lots of little kid stuff. Um, Dino. Hmm. Yeah, not seeing too much here. Uh, not sure who that guy is. Missing his hands, though. Is that Egon? This one looks missing his arms. I don't know if that's Egon or not. Too bad though. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, he's missing his arms. That sucks. Unless his arms are in there, that'd be cool. But I don't think so. I think his arm is missing. Ugh. Yeah, I think his arm's busted off. Oh, look at this, I found a Chewbacca. How much do they want for him? Two bucks? Hmm. I don't think he's the vintage one though. Pretty sure. All right guys, chilling and goodwilling again. I think, I think this is uh, Morgantown Goodwill. Something like that. Let's go, Goodwill. Eh, we got a rack out here that they haven't put stuff out from yet. Not sure what all's out here. Oh, look at this. The 1970s 1000 piece puzzle. That's kind of cool. There's some mega blocks. Heck yeah. Look at all those minifigures in there. How much do they want? Oh frick, $12.99. Dang. Holy crap. Looks like a bunch of Playmobil. Oh look at that, there's Ghostbusters Playmobil. Playmobil things. Hmm. All kind of, all 
kind of Lego minifigures in there. Look at that. Wow. It might be worth it though for $12.99. A lot of times, look at all those. Holy crap. And here's another bag full of figures that was in this bin. Uh, I'm not really seeing too much in here though that I am interested in. Looks like a, there's some Five Nights at Freddy's. Is that the McDonald's one? No, that's not the McDonald's one. That's the good one. All right, maybe that bag is worth it. Hmm. Uh, let's get some dinos here. Jurassic. I think. Big old, big old T-Rex. That's cool. Two bucks for him. I think the toy section kind of blows at this Goodwill. I think this is all they have. It's mostly games and puzzles. I don't really see much like toys. Oh, okay, I see. So most of their toys are on these uh, shelves like the Phoenixville Goodwill. All right, well, let's look around and see if we can find anything up here. Uh, there's a bag. Some uh, Mario stuff in it. There's Princess Peach. What do you got over there? Oh, that's cool. Is it a toy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this. Mario Kart Circuit Slam. Oh, cool. Look at that. Ooh, 40 bucks. Holy crap. Wow. It's cool, but not 40 bucks cool got a 2011 t-rex it's kind of kind of rubbery it's kind of cool uh, what else is over here Monopoly. empire huh. uh, let's see anything else i don't really see anything else it's down here More dinos. Hmm. Some kind of little, little Spider-Man display thing. Looks like his hand is missing. <laughs> Amputee Spider-Man. The Lego Dimensions. Looks like it's got all kinds of Legos in there, but Steven just said you need kind of some kind of a screen pack or something. I don't know what it's called. For this? Is that it right there? <laughs> oh. Ba -ba -da -ba. John Cena sucks. John Cena sucks. John Cena sucks. <laughs> oh, they got a lot of dinos here. This guy's kind of cool. I like his, uh, his purple and green colors. Yeah, they do have some video games down here in the glass case, but... Uh, I don't think there's really anything I need. All right, guys. So that was the adventure. That was our adventure to Lancaster County. We hit up tons of Goodwill stores, as you guys saw. Picked up some really cool stuff. I didn't have a chance to film in between each stop. So I figured I would save up all of our pickups and our hauls to show you what I, what I got, what I picked up at the end of the video here. Unfortunately, I did not get a chance to film uh, what Anthony bought or what Steven bought, but here's what I bought. 
So guys, my only pickup from the first uh, store we went to in this video, the Freedom Thrift Store, was the Chi Chi's Frisbee that we saw there. Uh, now, I took this up to the, the register, the cashier, when I bought this, and uh, it was marked for 50 cents. She rang it up. She said, okay, that'll be 14 cents. I said, 14 cents? Seriously? Apparently, they were having a 75% off sale that day, so... Uh, bought the Chi Chi's Frisbee mount. Now I, 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 I was able to slide this by my wife, you know, some kind of meaningless piece of crap toy like this, <laughs> according to her, it's a piece of crap, not me. Uh, but you know, something I didn't really need was a Chi Chi's Frisbee, but I told her this was in commemoration of our first date together because <laughs> our very first date when we first met was at Chi Chi's. So this was in commemoration of our first date together. Uh, thus, you know, the Chi Chi's Frisbee was okay with the wife. I'm just going to put this on a shelf. Guys, and then at that, uh, the Goodwill that we got locked in the elevator at, uh, I picked up these three items here. Uh, first thing was this really cool vintage T-Rex. Kind of looks like Godzilla. I, he's, he's hard plastic. Uh, Anthony thought he was like a squishy toy, I guess, but... He's pretty hard plastic. I'm not sure what brand it is, honestly. I looked him up online, couldn't find... I mean, several different companies make uh, toys very similar to this guy. So I'm not positive which one he is, uh, but he is just really cool. It is vintage from the 80s. Uh, I just thought he was super cool. I like the blue, the blue color on him. Um, not sure if I would have picked it up if it was just like a, a green or something, but blue just looks pretty awesome. Uh, I also grabbed this Star Wars pencil case. I don't know if I showed you guys this in the store, uh, but I thought this was pretty cool. It was marked for $1.99, but it was blue tag, so it was only a dollar for this. I was like, yeah, why not? I'll add this to my Star Wars collection. Um, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. I like the artwork on it a lot. And then I also grabbed this Barney Rubble Flintstones plush. This is not vintage, uh, but it is very cool. He's still got his tags on there. Uh pretty awesome. I'm just going to put him on a shelf as well. Um, so yeah, I was pretty happy with what I found at this store too. All right, guys. And then at that last Goodwill that we went to, uh, you guys saw this stuff here. I did end up grabbing the Jurassic Park, Jurassic World T-Rex. Uh, really cool. I have never found one of these at a thrift store before. This is the, the motorized one that actually roars and all that and uh i just thought he was pretty awesome um and for two dollars i just couldn't pass it up i don't know if i'm gonna end up keeping him uh and putting him on a shelf with my collection or what exactly i'm gonna do with him uh if any of you guys are interested in him let me know I haven't quite decided yet but for two dollars i went ahead and grabbed him i like i said i never see this dinosaur at thrift stores ever around me um and then also i did grab this huge bag i was so excited to find this bag of playmobil figures and lego minifigures just so much stuff in there um yeah and then uh, like i said i actually thought when I initially pulled this out of the bin, I thought it said $12.99. And then I looked a little closer, and it was only $1.99 for this whole freaking bag. So I was so happy to get this. Uh, I'm definitely going to be able to piece this out. It's going to take me some time to go through this and, you know, put pieces together. There's a black Spider-Man or a Venom right there. Like, you can just go through and see. Look at this. Here's a... Here's a Christmas Nutcracker dude. Um, like, there's a couple. I think I saw Bad Batch guys in there. Is that? Oh, I thought that was Indiana Jones. It looks like a pirate, maybe. Some kind of a pirate. Um, I mean, there's just so much in here. It's going to take a while. There's a Minecraft guy. So it's going to take a while to uh, to go through this. But here's some Ghostbusters. Um Playmobil guys, yeah, I think uh, I think this was a good buy for $1.99. I actually went into this uh, hunt 
telling myself I wasn't really going to buy anything to resell. I didn't really have a lot of extra money um, to do that. But for $1.99, I couldn't pass that up. Yeah, there's there's Hunter from Bad Batch right there, I think. Um, so for $1.99, I couldn't pass this up for reselling purposes. So guys, that was my haul from our Lancaster County, Pennsylvania adventure. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys for sticking around, for watching, for subscribing, uh, your comments. I love reading all of your comments, so keep those coming. Uh, if you haven't already, please be sure to tell your friends and family about old J Philly Retro Toys because I am on the road to 1,000 subscribers, and I would love to share that with you guys once we get there. Um, please, uh, you know, tell all your friends about me. I would greatly appreciate that. Uh, guys, thank you for watching again. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Later.